Yes, let's have the testimonies and give glory to God. Yeah, Vivek from Ella here. Yeah, from Ella. Okay, Vivek, you know, some days ago, like 10, 15 days ago, I was getting this headache and like a dizzy feeling. And I was wondering what it is. But I could do my work, but it was troubling me a lot. And then I went to the doctor and he said, you have vertigo and you have to take this 10 days uh, medication. So I started taking the medication and I started praising and thanking the Lord. And Jude and me, we said a, uh, we said a agreement prayer and we rebuke the infirmity. But I said, Lord, I bless this medicine. This is your body and blood that I'm going to consume. And after I said my prayer, I started the medication and I was feeling better. Suddenly, after around four days, I could hear a ringing in my ear, like a ringing sound. I'm sure we may have experienced it. It normally just comes and goes. But this started in the night and it went for the whole day and it's now for the second day. And it's something that's really troubling me so much. I cannot hear anything on the phone too loud on the TV or put my earphone. So my normal schedule of, you know, after mass hearing the word of God or when I'm cooking, playing the word of God and everything had stopped completely because my ears couldn't take and that ringing sound was troubling me. Then I spoke to Newton and we prayed and Newton also prayed in the agape love group. So he called me today morning. He said, how are you feeling? I said, the ringing sound is still there. It's day in and day out. So what I did is I just dressed and I said, let me go uh, to the pharmacist. So I went to the pharmacist. He said, he said, madam, you have to go to the doctor. So I went to the ENT and uh, the receptionist said, the eye doctor comes now. The ear doctor will only come in the evening. So I said, okay, fine. And I had to go to DMART. I said, what do I do? I said, if I go home, I don't want to sit and sulk and, you know, sit in that pitiful state. And I need to praise and thank God because I believe that he has healed me. Amen. And uh, and I that uh, Psalm 91 says that he will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly disease. So yes. I walked, I walked to DMART and, you know, that road is a very very traffic uh, neck to neck traffic road and the vehicles were just honking and honking you know how it is in Mumbai yep. and there was this ringing the ringing sound in my ears and the honking of the vehicle was just piercing through but I said no I will do whatever is my schedule today I will go I will do it so I went walking to DMART I purchased what I had to purchase I came home I kept my bag I washed my hands I changed and I just went on WhatsApp. And there I seen Sister Vienna just put a link which says Brother Johnson live uh, now. Yeah. And the topic was uh, power and praise. The moment yes. I read that topic, I knew that was the answer to my okay. sickness. Yes. So I, I put it on and Brother Johnson, you know, was talking. And, you know, Brother Johnson, he, when he's in high the spirit, you know, is his voice is so sharp and loud yes. and I put it on. I didn't, I didn't bother. I didn't think of what, what I'm feeling in the year. And I continued doing my work and I started just praising and thanking God for everything. And I realized that I do not thank him enough through, through this, what I went through that I do not thank him enough for the way he has blessed me tremendously, bless my family. Like my thanking is only for, you know, uh, it's situational. Like my children yes. are good, okay, I thank him. The money is come, I thank him. Uh, the good business is come, I thank him. But I feel we need to thank the Lord every minute, every second. Amen. And, you know, and, I started exactly. and I started thanking him for what he did to me years ago and how much he has blessed me and not focusing on now what I'm going through and uh, what difficulty I'm experiencing. I said, Lord, I did not thank you enough. And I, and that was my breakthrough when I put that link on because that was what I had to do, you know, which I shouldn't, which I did not do. And I started just praising and thanking God and I started praising a name and just, I seen the time I said, oh, it's time to log in Brisbane. So I, I got out of the YouTube video and I realized that that ringing ears sound in my ears had totally gone. 
and it happened wow. right Praise now God. and i and Praise i called God. newton and I, and i told newton you know the ringing sound just went away i don't know i said that was my answer i said that was the medicine for my what i am experiencing that was the medicine i had to praise god for everything even if i am not focused on what i am going through but i need to praise him for what i am going through praise him for what he has done for me and how much he has blessed me and probably i have i have kept it kept it very situational or you know for maybe given testimony for only what i have got but not look back on the way he has blessed me and my family tremendously is very difficult to praise when you are going through that hard time but that yes. is the time i feel that is the time i feel vivek you need to pray yes. and because that is the time you are you know that is the actual time of test when you are yes. praising in your most difficult when you are down and out and not only when you have glorious days yes absolutely so, yeah this is wonderful. my test wonderful i mean pramila it's more important to have a relationship see today this bible study whatever we do on friday it's it's a life changing it's not just for you know going home and just saying wow brother you feel you preach this is the anointing of the holy spirit so it's yes. so important that we realize that what we learn here has to be applied thanking and praising god you know god dwells in the praises of his people he dwells so what's the meaning of dwelling it means the moment you praise him what really happens you don't praise him for what you are going through but praise him for what he is and who he is to you in your life yes okay for what he has okay. done in your life think of the days when you started your life uh, you know pramila where you were where you lived in those hard times god was with you all, all the time okay from there he brought yes. you here to this situation we can't forget from where you have come to what you have come and how god is taking you through this life this beautiful life you know you yes. got a wonderful husband you got wonderful children you got a wonderful brother you got everything working for you in your life you got so many things yes. happening you thank and praise yes. god for those things that are there so for who he is to you you praise him not just for one yes. situation and say thank you lord today i got my job thank you lord today you got my give me business so this is yes. just uh, you know a god of only provision but yes. god is about that god is a relationship christ you is know a relationship. The- when you go through a difficult moment is that is the time of test and it is not easy i have realized to walk in the lord especially when you are going through trials you, you know we we tend to say that things will be well things will get well but when you have to fight the devil at for that moment and that battle is really a tough battle but only if you are rooted in the word i feel that's your victory absolutely you are rooted in and you are rooted in the word that is your victory it's a Absolutely. it's a tough it's a tough journey for an individual to fight it but only no. with the word of god you i feel we can fight it and my answer today was power and praise that um, was my answer to so my powerful. situation oh, wow that's a see pramila this this testimony of yours is a teaching by itself to all the people and see if you are not to give your testimony someone there who's praise it to be my myself as well oh pramila's testimony wow i should be praising god i should be thanking him for every moment i should stop looking at my situation and thank god for the situation and how he has blessed me when you remove the focus from your problem and think of other things that's when the healing happens when yes. you start praying yes. for other people with a similar problem that's when the healing takes place you try it for all the people who are listening to me right now if you are going through a trial pray for other people with similar problems in your life just keep praying only for them stop praying for you take the focus out of you and focus on the others and you see you, you know, will not my, realize when the healing takes place when someone know, is we make, for someone when i heard mass mass today uh, before leaving the house i heard mass and during the offertory during uh, the offertory i lifted all those people who are having problems like the way i am having with my ear and vertigo and everything i lifted all of them when the father lifted the chalice and i actually did not pray for me but i actually prayed for all those who probably may be experiencing even worse situation than what i am experiencing and i just offered all of them in prayers so yeah that's what i did yes so so see what we have learned from pramila's testimony and very important i'm sure if anyone is blessed by this testimony please put an amen why the amen is because i claim to okay put an amen for me as well 
one thing i very clearly understand from here is take the focus out of your problem and your brain pray for others in a similar situation am i right pamela okay yes that's the first yes. thing second thing thank and praise god for what he is and who he is to you not just because of a situation because a situation will come and go that means tomorrow again you have to thank him is it that you have to thank him only when he does something for you you thank him at all times okay at every situation wherever you have a chance if you make a curry and it comes good thank you jesus if you if you do something nice say thank you jesus even if the time was not good you say thank you jesus because he is the owner of your life you thank him for everything and the moment we take the focus out of our problem and you're praying deeply for the for one situation take it off pray for the others in similar situations immediately you get your answer there so this is a teaching in itself i'm sure people are blessed by your testimony thank you pramila for sharing the testimony thanks thanks i hope thanks this this prayer group has blessed you a lot and you know your prayer life as well yes yes i i wouldn't be able to fight all these battles ever since i've joined business prayer group i i have upgraded myself in the word i would say earlier it was just like reading a bible or just like reading a book or something you just read it for the day and i've done my duty but now it is understanding the word and living the word and the living journey the if 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 you if you pass through this difficult journey then it's like a smooth sail it's like a smooth sailing and you you become more confident to fight uh, the battles of life amen so because Thank these you, are the times of test amen. Thank you. pramila you're speaking Thank with you. the power of the holy spirit i'm so happy i'm so happy for you Thank god bless you sister Thank, thank you thank you thank you praise the lord brother yeah, yeah it's yeah. christina here an amazing testimony of praise and thanksgiving to sister pramila thank you jesus praise the holy spirit thank you lord and um i have two testimonies today uh to share and there were two people who were having trouble sleeping and i told them i could recommend a, a scriptural sleeping pill from brother mal as the word of god is alive and active sharper than a double edged sword and i asked them to declare an entire rosary of proverbs 324 before uh, going to sleep which says if you sit down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet and a few days later one of them said that they were sleeping much easier and the other said they were having a longer sleep without waking up praise, praise god, the lord praise thank you jesus one, one second christina can can russell can can you put this down because someone who's having sleep problems can use this scripture uh, of can course someone, yes can you put yes, it down please? yes so yes, all scriptures that are shared during the testimonies please put it up for people who can claim the same scripture Yes, yes I will. It's Proverbs three twenty four. I'll I'll write it down, brother. And uh, the other is a mom asks for prayers for a child's exams, and I asked her to declare with the child uh, as often as possible. One Corinthians two sixteen. Thank you, Jesus, that I have the mind of Christ. And Isaiah eleven two. Thank you, Jesus, that your spirit rests on me, the spirit of wisdom. and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the lord and genesis 39:2 the lord is with me and i am a successful man in jesus name amen amen and the mom messaged the next day to say the child didn't want to say the scriptures together with her and i said that she must declare it on her own using his name and show him only love and not to speak about it again to him and at the end of that week after he had finished his exams she messaged me to say that he had told her thanks for the prayers praise the lord thank you jesus yes, thank, thank you thanks. jesus and thank you thank so you. much for the daily reflections and brother russell's morning tongues teachings great. they've been really great this week especially the power of asking by Matthew 7:7 and uh, Luke 11:3 and James 1:5 as well as Sister Shanine's two part reflection on there is power in the name of Jesus has been extremely powerful 
Thank you, brothers and sisters and all members. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, God bless Thank you. you. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Amen. Yes, who would like to share? Praise the Lord, brother. Yeah, Jack, go ahead. Yes, brother. I want to thank uh, the Lord for, for giving uh, my son a job. You know, brother, my son has graduated in engineering yes. and he's a fresh graduate. And uh, in my company, I spoke to my GM and GM have accepted him as a assistant engineer in the, in the project. And he has got an offer letter and he'll be joining uh, on 15 Monday when his gate pass is ready. I want to thank and praise the Lord. Another thing, brother, he was on my sponsor sponsorship because uh, the in Kuwait, the uh, father can sponsor the son only up to 21 years. Now his residence, his visa is going to expire in month of March. And I was, I was unable to renew his residence, his visa. Praise God, they said next next month I have to, the company will sponsor him and, and give him the residence, the visa. I want to thank and praise the Lord for oh, this what a mighty thing. Great, uh, great thing that God, God has done in my life and my wow. son's life. Super. Praise Super. God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Brother Vivek. Yeah, Newton. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brother, I have three testimonies to tell. But short, yeah. not too long. Short. Yeah, yeah, go, go for it. One is with Brother Lawrence. You know, Brother Lawrence, once I was attending a prayer in tongues. And he told me that you had ice cream in the afternoon. And I didn't tell him. And I called him and I told him, how did you know I had ice cream in the afternoon? He said, no, the Holy Spirit told me you had an ice cream in the afternoon. The second day it happened that in the morning, as we were in the praise and worship, I was playing the guitar and I was singing the song. Brother Lawrence called and told me, today oh, I couldn't hear your voice. I couldn't hear the guitar. You were totally low. What happened to you? I think you was thinking something. You was going through something. I said, how, brother, how did you know? And he told me, no, when you are praising and singing to the Lord, you are not singing for me or for somebody. You are singing for Jesus. And when you keep your whole focus on the Lord and sing for Jesus, you will get activated and you will get boosted up in that. Okay. As he told me this, brother, I got so much charged and boost and energy came in me, like an electric current that came in my body. And then secondly, I was just singing and praising God. I felt that the Holy Spirit was really using him for me. And many times, brother, he tells me when the Holy Spirit tells whatever he tells me, brother, it has come true. He's like, you know, Simon of Seri with Jesus carrying the cross. He's always there with me to share, <laughs> He's to carry my cross or to tell me how to come out of this, how to pray in tongues and what the word of God. I learned a lot by then. He's an instrument the Lord is using me for me today. Um, he, uh, he's uh, like an angel of the Lord. And brother, the second testimony is, you know, recently my one of our neighbor in Daisa was very sick in the hospital. And in that sick mood, he gave me a call and said, Newton, where are you? I want to meet you. And he was calling everyone on the phone. So in the afternoon time, I told my wife, Chalo, let's go and meet him. And he said, come and pray for me. I told my wife, come on, let's go. But before we go, we'll buy a Bible and take for him. I took a Bible and went from the hospital. I reached the hospital. The hospital said, no entry without the pass. For a very moment, I complained to God like the people of Israel when they came to the Red Sea. They told Moses, why did you bring us here to die? Pharaoh is coming behind there. He'll kill us. It was better we stay with Pharaoh. I said, Maria, simply we came here. We can't enter inside. Immediately, I realized what I'm speaking. And I said, Lord, I know I'm at the Red Sea right now here. And you told Moses to strike it with the staff. And you opened the sea and made a dry land. Now, what is that staff, Lord? That's your word. 
Lord, I bring forth this scripture to you. This way to the hospital is going to open like the Red Sea for me and I'll enter in. Immediately, a relative of that patient or that my friend came opposite from where I don't know, she attended there and she said, don't worry. What is the problem? I said, her problem to enter. She's bent, got the pass and I entered the hospital. And Sammy, you know Sammy, brother, na? Yeah. Sammy's wife was working in the hospital. She, she told Sammy's wife, she bought the pass and gave me, I went in the hospital. I told that brother, you keep the hand on the Bible and I prayed for him. I said, Lord, this Bible is your flesh. This is a Bible, but now, right now, it's your flesh, Lord. Lord, the woman with 12 years of bleeding said to herself, only if I touch the hem of the garment of your Jesus, I'll be healed. Uh, you are going to keep hand on this Bible and we'll pray. And we prayed, I just when we were praying them, he shook. And for five minutes, he was still silent. And then we came home. Coming home, I gave a call and they told me his condition is the same. But brother, now see, when I prayed, it was the Lord who was working, not I. It was not I, but now the Lord has a plan for him. But I believe that the Lord's spirit is working in him and the Lord has to do some, he'll do something great for the man. So the third one is, brother, you know, in the morning, I go for a walk because I got a big stomach. I said, now I have to reduce it. The moment I go on the road, people ask me, how many months this to you are? Uh, how many months? Eight months, nine months? Because stomach is too big, no? So mm -hmm. I told Jesus often, I said, Lord, I want to be slim and trim. But the Lord told me, go for a walk. As yes. I go for a walk in the morning, one man was uh, behind of me. He has put one uh, song in his mobile, you know, of that, uh, of these uh, gods. They have that song that they, uh, they mm -hmm. put in the morning. Yeah. And, it was, and I was hearing the word of God while going for a walk. I was hearing one of the prayer yeah. sessions which was going. I was so disturbed. I said, Lord, this man is, this music is disturbing me. Please, Lord, stop this music. Otherwise, I'll have to wait till he goes in front. I didn't say a word. It was just my thought in my mind. That thought became a prayer, and that man with the mobile image immediately stopped his mobile, and that sound was stopped, and the entire walk was a very pleasant walk hearing the word of God. So I praise Please and God. thank God. Even a thought that came to my mind, it became an answered prayer. I didn't open my mind. I didn't, open my, I didn't speak out. I just said to myself in my mind, Lord, this sound should stop. Immediately, like a strike, this immediate fellow stopped the mobile there and there. Yes. So I praise and thank God for this three test, uh, things that he has done. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And brother, you pray for you my stomach, huh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. You're you very big now. You know, I'm feeling ashamed to go out also now. I really don't feel ashamed. When you go with a big eight-month stomach, it will become zero months. Yeah. After the child Jesus, is born. <laughs> I want to take my stomach again. I told Jesus, I want to be slim. He's saying, no, you go for a walk. Because I don't like to take a walk this way. Okay. <laughs> so stop Please drinking go. soda. Start drinking a lot of water now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> soda. Yeah. So you have to go for a walk and diet a little bit. So. Yeah. Yes. I, I also had a big stomach. My stomach has gone fully. So the same thing. Yeah. We take a walk. 45 minutes. <laughs> Praise okay, God. brother. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, who would like to share and glorify God? Please don't feel shy. Uh, this is the time where you stand up for your for the Lord. Please remember one thing: you're not standing for the preacher. I have no power and place, and I have no authority. I have no power. The power belongs to the Lord, and it's His glory. Everything belongs to Him. Thank the Lord Jesus for what He has done. Who he is to you. If you love the Holy Spirit, open up and just speak. Hello, Hello. Here. Yeah, Nitya, go ahead. Okay. I just want to give thanks to God for his grace and his mercy. Um, because I've come to realize every single day how you know I fall short in everything in my life. But um, you know, if I'm cooking, I know I'm not giving it a hundred percent. I know at work I you know, um, but everything turns out to be better than what I'd expect. It turns out to be better than what I intended it or my efforts, you know. So if you, if you take it directly proportional, my efforts have nothing to do with the outcome. Yes. So I want to recognize and I want to thank God for how in every instance of my life, in raising my children, in my cooking, in my work, in, in my prayer, um, his grace exceeds it. He fulfills it. And it comes out in a way that only God can do it. And I'm as and I'm 
growing aware of it, it makes me want to be more in him, in his presence and be more grateful and thankful and um, to taste and see. That is the thing that you taste and see how wonderful, how good the Lord is. And you want to be in that relationship. It, and, and so I, I really want to thank God for that. I want to thank God. And I also want to thank God for the ministry for Brisbane Prayer Group because um, it is my place. It is, it is my go-to place. It's become my go-to place. Um, the morning prayer is my go-to place. And also um, what I've understood over the time when I'm leading my family in prayer, my extended family, is it is not an easy job. It is not it, it you know you you have the lows you have you have to carry a whole community uh, you know and the grace of God is so important there and I want to thank God for this prayer group for its functioning um, I think we're in the second year if I'm right yep yes uh, so I want to thank God for you know uh, giving that strength to, uh, to bringing the people here into this prayer group for you know for being for being the central fulcrum of our prayer group for the Holy Spirit for leading. And I want to thank God for that. I want to thank God for you, for Brother Russell, for Brother Sh um, for Sh um, Shanine and um, Savio's family and all of that. And um, God bless you. God bless you all. And yes, that, that, that's it. That, that's all I wanted to say. But yes, thanking God, thanking God every day for this community, for this communion, for the graces, for opening. That's the beauty. The only other thing I want to add, sorry is that when you go closer to him, he draws closer to you and, and he opens up these avenues where you experience him in, in a more yes. deeper way. And, you know, I take two steps, he comes 10 steps and it is just, um, and I've, the other thing I've learned is to be aware, to be aware of your situation, to be aware of your shortcomings, to be aware that awareness is so important that immediately you go into the spot where you Lord, I'm aware, I'm falling short, I'm aware, I'm getting angry, I'm aware. And you submit it to the Lord. And that's been helpful. So, um, so I'm, I'm really thanking God for changing my life through this prayer group. I'm thanking God for the prayer group. So thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nitya. God bless the uh, praise and glory to our Lord Jesus. And all of us are called to minister to one another and pray for one another. That's why this prayer group was found, uh, formed only to pray for one another and pray for peace in the world and bringing Christ to the ends of the earth. Our only job is to save souls for Christ. And that is whatever ministry we are to bring Jesus. Yes. Agreed, agreed. Thank you. Hallelujah, brother. Yavana. I want to, yes, I want to thank and praise the Lord for uh, the gift of life. I'm alive today. It's yes. because of his love, his grace and mercy and for the resurrection power. Absolutely. And thank you, Jesus. He's my crowning glory. Thank you, Jesus. He is my Shakaina glory covering me. Thank you, Jesus. He is my living water. Thank you, Jesus. He is my bread come down from heaven who nourishes me daily. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is my everything. Thank you, Jesus. He has given me a sound mind and I'm in my own house. I'm Amen. with my son. I'm enjoying abundance life in every yes. area. Abundance. Thank you, Jesus, for the abundant life you came to give me and all my brothers and sisters all over the world. Thank you, Lord, for mighty deliverance and restoration in every area of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Hallelujah. Glory. We pray in a special way uh, for a hedge of protection over the entire Brisbane Prayer Group and upon the entire families. And some of them who are at their workplace, I think India has opened up, so people have gone back to work. We pray for them who are back at work, for the Lord to bless them in their jobs and in all that they do, because they serve the Lord in different ways. And we also pray for the hedge of protection over their families, the precious blood of Jesus, and for every member of this Brisbane Prayer Group and for everyone whose prayers have been placed on our WhatsApp group and who hear the teachings and who are part of different ministries in our prayer group. So we pray that their life be blessed, their families be blessed, their work be blessed, their incomes be blessed, their finances are blessed, their relationships are blessed, their health is blessed, and their main is that their prayer life is blessed. Because without the word of God, we are nothing. 
John 15, 5, without Jesus, we can do nothing. Just hold on to this. If you do not have God's word in your heart, you are nothing and we can produce no fruit. So remember, everything is God's word in our heart. And as some people said today, as Pramila said, we have to go through some trials in life, but the trials will make us tougher and make us go through life most more. Through. In these trials, we notice God and we realize how much God does for us. Otherwise, we don't realize anything about God. Thank and praise you for all the answered prayers in my life and everything that he has done for keeping me safe, sound, alive today to preach his word. Thank and praise you, Jesus. And he gets Shanine here. I yes. would like to praise and thank the Lord for all the people that are rising up around Australia, in Queensland, around the world. And they're helping those people who have lost their jobs through, through these mandates, the people who are about to lose their jobs, the people who are losing their businesses, the people who are just suffering, they're suffering mentally. I would like to praise and thank the Lord for these people who have stood up offering services for free. I'd like to give glory to God for our prayer group. I praise and thank you, Lord Jesus, for the hedge of protection, as Vivek just prayed for, because of any attacks, Lord Jesus. We pray for the continued protection over you, Vivek, as you go through your weekend, whoever you speak to, that you are covered in the precious blood of Jesus with, and with his hedge of protection. We praise and thank you, Lord Jesus. All glory and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is Ernie. I just, um, I don't actually know what, what to say, but I'm just saying that I'm looking forward to this, uh, these teachings and, and the blood of uh, Jesus all around us all the time, but just the continual. Uh, and I join every time I listen to these sessions and um, if I have a chance to the, the rosary, it's been everything you just said. It's really assurance and stuff like that it continues that's why i never leave leave these teachings and uh yeah it's just bring a complete joy and it's and um the i think uh russell for his um teachings today that sort of like um helped me and stuff like that and you know i don't look for um i uh with these man mandates and you know people getting their vaccine shots and stuff like that yeah, but I haven't thought, um, I'll probably have to be in the process of online and stuff like that because I probably have to do go overseas and stuff like that to see relatives and stuff like that. I don't really, I'm not sort of like a too, uh, I don't think of it too much, but also, you know, I, it's just that I've got a lot of, um, I I, uh, I trust in the Lord. With yes, all my yes that's what we bring up. You always trust yeah. in God and his provision. And if I have to... And if I, you know, have to take it for this purpose and stuff like that, because I, I, I am truly blessed and happy, really joyful for what all the gifts he's already given me now. I don't really need to take it. I, he's already, I am strong. I am healthy already. I don't need any blessings. I've got his word in me. So, you know, but that's the thing. But that's okay. But um, blessed are the ones who took the vaccine and stuff like that. If they got the word in it, the word of God is the vaccine. So, you know, that's... um. Less than um, if they have to make that uh, adaptation, you know, I keep on. It, it's really a blessing to look at, uh, look forward to these testimonies, so it can open up your minds a bit more and stuff like that. And I'm looking forward to these teachings tonight, so it's going to really help me sort of like lighten up again and very quick. And and that's what the power, of the Holy Spirit does. And um, you know, thank Jesus for everything, the Holy Spirit to always keep on, even um, uh, yeah, 
keep in touch with all these sessions and um, even in my private, private moments, I always pray for the Brisbane Prayer Group, for you, Brother, Brother Vivi, Brother Johnson, everyone that been a journey through my life and continues to go. It's all, it's, it's all sort of like a bless, blessing and it's all sort of like an important step to development. It's more, um, more miracles and enlightenment for me to, to look forward to, to testify. That's what I'm living for both on heaven and on earth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, is there anyone else who would like to testify and give thank you? Say thank you, Lord Jesus. It's so important to testify. I can't tell you the power and the testimony. There's too much of power when you testify to the Lord and for what He has done for you. So you don't thank the Lord only because you got a miracle in your life or there's something that happened. Just thank God because you feel his presence in your life. You started that journey. If you are one of the persons who started reading the word and you can feel his presence every time you talk to him and you can feel that relationship, that itself is a testimony. You can share that testimony because that is, that is the most beautiful thing. That is all that we have to experience by coming every Friday is to get into that relationship with Jesus through his word. And that's how the Holy Spirit makes Jesus Christ come alive in our life. So if you are experiencing that, you should testify. That is a testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, I'd like to... Hello, brother, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Uh, I want to thank and praise the Lord for all that he has done for us. Thank you, Jesus, for this prayer group. It has helped my faith grow. Thank you, Brother Vivek, for teaching us on blessing all those who upset and hurt us. You explained it to us very well. The scripture you gave us was 1 Peter 3, 9. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing. Because of this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. Thank Brother, you. I tell you, it's not easy to bless those who hurt us. So, however, I changed my way of thinking and praying and started blessing those who upset and hurt me. I want to tell you, it really helped me a lot. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daphne. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. So if you're using the word of God in every situation of your life, if you face the problem and you're using God's word, come just testify. Thank you, Lord. Brother, this is Caroline here. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible, Caroline. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so uh, I was supposed to resume work on Monday, as in go go to office. And uh, uh, this this mere thought of going to work, you know, after six months of maternity leave was very disturbing because my baby is still on my feed. And uh, I had to go to work continuously since everything is opened up. But uh, I haven't got vaccinated for my second dose. And uh, our office has now shifted to Andheri. First, it was in Mira Road. So a lot of thoughts were coming in my mind as to how I'll manage and all that. And then uh, I just happened to call my boss and tell her that, you know, I've not got vaccinated. So should I still come to office? And she said that, no, you will not come to office till you're not vaccinated. You'll be working from home. So, uh, and you'll be uh, coming only once you finish your vaccination. And when she said that, I was so relieved. And uh, today Newton shared about how a mere thought can become a prayer. It was like really an answered prayer, something that uh, God took care of it so beautifully. And now I'm resuming work only after Christmas. 
and i'll be working from home so uh, i'll be able to feed my baby take care of uh, him and uh, also work from home and of course life is uh, been filled with abundance i got a paid maternity leave and uh, everything is taken care of so beautifully uh, so i just want to uh, praise and thank god for giving us a uh, petty things which we don't even ask for mm. so uh, thank you brother vivek for uh, changing our prayer life it's not about just being in prayers but you know simply being in a constant communication with him the word jesus how it helps us is 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 simply uh, you know life changing so thank you this entire team god bless and may many lives be enlightened with this work amen amen thank you jesus all glory to our lord jesus thank you garland for that wonderful testimony thank you yeah. jesus Yes. Anyone else would like to testify? Brother, I come again to thank the Lord because last week. my mummy and i were in the retreat if even if it was for two days i want to really thank the lord for that change and for the courage that uh, mummy had to say yes to come with me mummy is 82 and thank you jesus thank you, thank jesus, you jesus for that treat spiritual treat and yes. we were surrounded by faith warriors and uh, thank you lord for everything thank you sister viana for that word to take mummy along God bless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for this wonderful testimonies. Yeah, anyone else would like to share? So, I'm. Um, I want to people to glorify and thank God because that's more important for what He is doing in their lives. I just want to just ask any one of you who are attending this Bible st uh, study every Friday or Brother Russell's teachings every day, and you could say your life has changed. If if that is you, just even if you cannot testify, at least put an amen there to glorify God and say the Lord is using us to bring the word to the ends of the earth. And not only that, you may be sharing this teaching with someone else, you know, who is not even in our prayer group. and they are their lives are being blessed and they are telling you that our lives are blessed even though they are not in our prayer group so if that is the case if you are sharing the teachings as well and if they are saying you know wow you are being blessed and put an amen at least you thank god that you have at least become a channel god needs channels so many people don't realize that the lord wants to bless us with everything okay if you want to become rich he wants you to be rich so that you can make other people's life rich if you are a channel of giving you you will never lack in life but if you all about yourself and you said no jesus is mine and he only for me that is a selfish kind of life life of giving is what the lord wants he wants us to become a channel so that you never lack in life in any area of your life and the all he requires is a thank you there were 10 lepers and one of them went back and said lord i'm healed and that also he was a samaritan an outcast a double outcast and he says you being you have come here a foreigner comes and says thank you what about the other nine it's all about recognizing christ in our life and thanking god for what he does for the little things once you are in tune with the holy spirit you'll realize every breath that comes every time you breathe also you say thank you lord everything that has breath 
thank and praise God. That is what Psalm 150 is. You can read that Psalm. Everything, everything, every creature that has breath praises the Lord. So even, even, so everyone praises the Lord. So yeah, today as we learn our teaching today, it's a very powerful teaching. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start it, but I'm just thinking there's something, someone who'd like to testify. You're not speaking up because you're shy. You're not sure whether you could speak up. I, I want you to be, I pray that the Lord gives you the strength to speak Hello, up. Brother Ube. Thank you, Lord. Hello? Hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brother Ube, can, it's Paul here. Can you hear me? Yeah, Paul, go ahead. Jude, Jude let, let Paul go ahead. And then Jude. Uh, Brother Ube, I've, I've been part of the group, this group for a long time. And, um... Brother Ube, Brother this is Jude with you. Yeah, Jude, Jude. Uh, I'm uh, yeah, yeah, Paul, you can go first and Jude will go in after you. So, Paul, start. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, no, I just, um, yeah, I've been part of this group for a long time now and I, I don't really talk much. But um, if I were to thank God for the numerous blessings that he's shared on my family and myself, <laughs> um, there won't be time for anything else. But I just primarily want to praise and thank God for this group, uh, which has uh, been for me um, a great boost to my spiritual life. And it's it's helped me in learning more about the word, uh, getting uh, to spend more time with God. I start my day with prayers. I end my day with the Bible reading. And it's, it's wow. been, really been the wind beneath my wings for... Increasing my spirituality and my spiritual life, and I really want to praise and thank God for this group and for the amazing people like yourself and everyone else who do an amazing job in uh, enlightening us and in uh, helping us learn the word and get you know get closer to God basically. So I, I mean it's an it's an amazing thing, and uh, I, I I've been part of the group for nearly two years now, and I don't don't plan on leaving anytime. So, yeah, I just want to pray and thank God for everything that yes. you have done and for all the people in this group who keep doing it every day. And thank yeah, you, Jesus. Jesus. All glory to our Lord Jesus. Paul, it's all about, see, it's not about, you know, being a part. It's about how you can bring Christ to other people as well. Yeah. So the, what we learn is to bring Christ to others. Christ says that you become a channel. So, Paul, you'll never lack in life in any area of your life because that's what the word says. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's what, what Abraham said, you know, he was blessed in Galatians, I mean, in Genesis 24.1. He was blessed in all things, that God blessed him in all things. And it's all about we becoming Christ to other people because yeah. Christ needs our time. Paul, That's when true. I sit, when I sit to pray, you know, I tell you, I just ask the Holy Spirit, take me. And he just clothes me over and comes over me as if I'm like a cloth over me. And he takes my body, takes my mind, takes my mouth. He just uses me. Yeah. So we all have to just say that just Holy Spirit, you know, consume me, take, take over. Yeah. So when you go to work, you say, Holy Spirit, take over. So that he's, he's at your work. He's, he's doing the job for you. Yes, yes. Let him be a part of you. This, this is all about a relationship, Paul. It's not about yeah. just, you know, the word of God is our strength. Yeah. It's our everything. It's our daily breath. So yeah. once we realize that, the Holy Spirit makes the Bible come alive in our life. We yes. all read this Bible as a book, story yeah, book. True. But today this becomes a part, an integral part of our lives. Like, you know, someone prayed about a scripture about sleep. Yeah. So when you use that scripture for sleep, people get sleep. When you use the scripture for healing, you get healing. For enlightenment, for wisdom, you continuously use and you start seeing things work in your life. Yeah. It all happens because the word of God is alive and active. That is yes. the truth. That's true. And, so, uh, and it's up to us to keep that, keep that, the, the spirit alive. And, I mean, you know, if you let it, if you let, if you, let it go, it goes, but if we keep it alive, it, is, it will stay alive in our lives. And I just wanted to say also a quick thank you to Jude. Jude was the one who first introduced yes. me to this group Praise approximately God. two years ago, and it, it's been a blessing for me. And uh, I want to thank Jude as well. Yeah. Thank, thank you. God bless. Yes, who's next? Anyone Brother, else? Brother Vivek, this, this is Jude with you. Yeah, go ahead. 
I may not be very clear because the network net is very the internet issue having issues internet issues and it's very weak. Anyway, I'm I'm not backward in testifying with the courage I've got with the Christian group. And uh, every time when I glorify the God, I take a lot of pleasure, joy in my heart. Uh, thanks for the mm -hmm. Christian group for that. And uh, brother, I'm right now. I am on a very short trip to Goa. And uh, in fact, last minute I wanted to back off because uh, I was not in the mood of traveling because just a little chill out trip and with my with another person of mine. And I said, no, it will be a kind of expense. And there was something which I said, I do, and I do want to go to avoid expense. Yep. But there was something they are telling me also, no, don't, don't back off. We need to go. So I was always telling my wife, why something telling me that I need to go, which I don't want to go, but I, something tells me my mind I have to go. Anyway, the trip was not cancelled. I went with the person who I had to go with. And we came land once we landed Goa. You won't believe brother, you, as you said earlier, there's always a destiny helper. There was a relationship where a brother where the where the family member had not seen each other. You're on mute, Jude. I can't hear you. Hello? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, good. Uh, uh, brother, am I audible? Now you're audible, Okay, yes. the moment I had landed to Dubai, when I, sorry, when the moment I like, came out to the, uh, Goa, I got to, um, I, there was, a, the person was with me, um, happened to meet one of his family members for, la, uh, for after 37 years. Wow. And it was God. just, it was just a miracle. I said, dude, what happened? I said, I don't know what happened. It's just that something got connected from somewhere and these people happened to meet for after 37 years, which was, which was a big miracle to me. And I was surprised what happened. Again, yes. that was done and said, the, the family members were praising me because I don't take any praise. And I said, don't thank me. Thank the Holy Spirit. It the Holy Spirit to guide it. The same day happened that the brother, they met. Second thing about my own house, the I cannot hear you, Jude. Vivek? Yeah, Pramila, I can't hear him. Uh, I, I think, uh, I think uh, you won't be because the place where, where our house is in Goa, uh, there is no geo network and it's very difficult uh, to get through and it's yeah. going to be like that only. I don't know how Jude got through actually. I was uh, surprised but uh, it doesn't look like he is able to connect. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but it doesn't look like he's able to connect because we have to stand in a particular place and all that to get the, you know, the network coverage. But uh, I don't know now what has happened. So, yeah, please go. But yeah, we can I share it you, on the I think later. you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. You yes. Uh, you go ahead. I'll message him. I'll yes. 